Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns where with our Angel of Valhalla known as Highwind we've gained ourselves new quests as we head back into the Wildlands. There's more people to talk to around here so let's get talking as we head back for Geisel Greens. Hello monster. I'll peck you first of all otherwise I'm not going to be talking to anyone whatsoever. So imperil, D-shell, D-protect, poison, nuke it all and then just go for the weakness or just get poked in the face by evilness. Wait a second. Read the weakness completely wrong. With flame sparks, it works quite nicely. So what do you have to say, sir? He's probably still running away. North of here lies a desolate land that's littered with the hulks of downed airships. Hardly anyone goes there, apart from the curious and the brave. If you manage to trek across that land, you'll eventually reach one particular airship wreck. There's a man who lives in that wreckage, a recluse who's turned his back on the rest of human society. Of course, he's not the only recluse to make his way out to the Wildlands, but this one stands out with his giant nest of a haircut. I hear he used to be a pilot back in the day. Giant nest of a haircut? Pilot back in the day? I think that can only really be one person, but with a behemoth coming up behind me, I think I've got to take care of this, though, first. Take you they didn't give you any subtle hints, did they? No, they give you massive hints. Hey, you know exactly who this is. And I'm just going to attack you at the same time, because that's your standard condition. Attack you while you're doing attacks. And with that, we're going to say, Bon voyage, sir. You're not standing up again. To the victor, the spoils. I'm sure they do, but we'll take the EP that goes with it. Now we're not going to chrono status just yet, despite the fact that we're going to max out, because of course we wanted to hit 7. My goodness, you guys keep coming out of everywhere. Catch me. I'm sure I'm going to run out of you guys sooner or later. I don't even know why I keep putting on the poison when I know it won't affect. No, we didn't get a stagger right there and then. Ah, uh, ah, uh, flame sparks, not what I want. And just not enough. Whoa! Spinning strike. But there's the stagger we wanted. And a second stagger as well. Which means you can't do anything back to me. Though I lost a little bit of HP there. Come on, high wind, let's get moving. We've got to feed you just about now. I'm guessing those guys all greens will be popping up everywhere. Man, these behemoths. I might want to save some of them. Because surely, considering they're big monsters, we'll be making them extinct pretty shortly. I'd rather them be around so I can get two EP nice and quick. Now, how about you guys? I haven't fought many of. I can understand why I'd want to hit you. Just for any items that you might have for Camus of Prayers and whatnot. You try to hit me if you like. But trust me, you're not going to get in there. Oh, we're actually missing each other at this point. Oh, I thought the Bliss would get him, but no, it didn't finish the job. We took some more hits that I didn't really want to take, but D-Protect, Vibrant Ooze, and Goopy Goo. We'll get even more of those. Right, uh, Ganopus Farms is over here. Is our guys all greens ready? Well, more enemies that disappear as we enter. I don't mind that, because it seems our greens are ready. I probably want to plant some more here. Hey, Why don't you try feeding some... Well, I would try feeding some more, but, well, I'm going to go Chronostasis first of all, because they're already up and ready. That's a fine harvest. You know, the health of a crop is a real reflection of how much care and effort is put into it. At least, that's what Father used to tell me. Oh yes, they smell wonderful, full of loving care. When you feed those greens to your chocobo, he'll taste the love that went into growing them. No problem, we can expand our field, but of course we've already given her a ton of forest fertilizer. She will till the fields and add up to four planting rows that you can use for growing crops. Done and done and done and done. That's fine. We just want a chronostasis because then that gives us a nice marker for when our next lot of guys or greens are ready if we need them. Unless we can find loads of more health recovering kind of items all around. So with that said, let's pick them all up. So it takes a bit of time to get down and up again. And plant some more. We should have enough vegetable seeds, I imagine. Excuse me, Sarala, I don't want to talk to you again. 
And High Wind, you're a bit standing on that one, but there we go. Planted all the seeds. Now to give you a little bit of feed. What is it? You're getting better. Good. I'm happy to hear it. I'm glad you could help the Chocobo. Well done, Light. So, what do you say? Why don't you saddle up and head for Rocky Crag? Right. I need to know more about what's behind the story of the Great Chaos. And that means checking out that temple. In the foothills near the temple is an isolated settlement called Polta. It's inhabited by disciples of the goddess Etro. A whole village of heretics who've turned their backs on the Order. Heretics they may be, but they aren't fanatics. They fled from persecution in the city. They only want to be left alone. Then, I don't think they'll appreciate a stranger dropping by. Well, you won't know until you go. Polta lies at the edge of Rocky Crag. Well, it seems we've got ourselves kind of two major leads at the start of this episode. Now that Chugwood's wings have healed, he can glide through the air with lightning on his back, allowing him to reach distant heights, press B to make him jump, then hold B to catch an updraft and continue soaring. By using this ability, lightning will be able to reach high places you could not reach by jumping alone. When you find a place that looks like it might be accessible by soaring, take to the skies with a quah! We will do. But surely we've got more to feed him unless it gave all of them to him. No? Quah, quah. Is that how I talk to you? A glint of life in his eyes. I think he's got more than just a glint of life, to be honest, at this point in time. Easy there, boy. Okay, glint of spirit. How much more do I have to feed him? You never know. This must be level two, Choco, after all. Come on, behave. Glint of energy. How much more can I power you up? you'll be able to explore more areas of the wildlands. The Chocobo can now catch the wind when he jumps. You'll be able to reach more places than you could before. I think if his recovery continues, he'll be able to take you up that cliff and into the Temple of the Goddess. Hello there. That would be a good thing, but for now, I think I'll heal myself as well. It's unfair he gets all the feed after all. Alright then, well that said, let's run! Because I want to check out the, well, the first lead we got. Now it seems we can go everywhere. I'm guessing there must be objective markers saying, hey, come to over here. Oh, but it's nearly seven as well. In fact, it is. So, of course, we go to the Moogle village as well. By the sound of it. Because after all, the people keep mentioning Moogles. There's a whole place blocked off. It's got to be that. If anything, it's got to be that. Right, hello Vali, we know you don't like the wind that much, but I kind of want to deal with your friends first. Oh, hello, Blizzard's coming out from Choco now as well? Oh no, that's Blizzard's coming out from you guys. Hey, go on, Choco, get in there with elemental spells. Now you can hit weaknesses that you couldn't before. A lot more handy in combat, so let's jump! Oh, you made it quite nicely, right! Nicely done, Choco, getting over that gap. I'm just wondering exactly where do we head to? Well, more behemoths want to come. Behemoth, behemoth, whatever you want to pronounce it, one of those. And chaos on top of that. So, are we in the chaos portal? Where's the enemy? Looks like we're going to have one of these. I should have probably chronostasis again there, but still... What's done is done. Surely you're going to attack me sooner or later, guy. Oh, nicely done. Was that Choco who got the thing going there? Well, all the same, isn't it going to be somewhere along the lines of the fact that I'm going to get extra EP, so it's going to be like 3 EP at this point in time? I may as well just keep blizzarding considering the amount of damage it does. And the Reaver goes down without problem. 
And indeed, free EP is our bonus. So, full ourselves up to seven. May as well chronostasis yet again. Because why not? Well, it does stop my guys or greens growing. You never know how much more we can level you up, but there doesn't seem to be... Aha! There's one. Flinting away. Are any of you dogs something to do with our lost dog? Because there's tons of dogs around here, after all. And yet the battle in, in, in the wildlands, it just never ends, does it? Right, can you get the other one for me, Choco? Oh, you actually got hit by him? I don't like that whatsoever. Yeah, you get your thunders down, I'll get my flame sparks. Double damage. But it's good to pick up some more monster mints. Did we get what we were after? <laughs> I'm pick a few sometimes. The endless, endless battles that keep coming out. Behemoth, I'm not fighting you. I will have a talk to you. Oh, so you found where Yule's flowers grow, have you? Well done. Is there any more soul seeds scattered around though within that chaos? Doesn't seem so. So let's continue heading onwards. We got another behemoth after us. So where exactly are we, Matt Wise, now? Right, so heading up to the Eremite Plains, eh? Seems we can get to the Rocky Crag from this way, still. More monster mints is what we want. It seems we always attack you first now. Stop hitting my friend, you! There we go, Choco, get your revenge. I think it was my lightning that really did the job. It's nice to be getting lots of strike abilities that I can synthesize. Just dodging you a second, don't need your EP at the moment. Surely you're near extinction after all. Well, let's keep exploring, because I want to follow this lead, considering we're pretty sure who's got the mess of hair in an airship. Moonsoul Blossom is ours, and I'll dodge straight past you. You are truly one of the few people who dare travel here. This is a terribly desolate place. It's a graveyard for many wrecked airships. Perhaps this is the result of the wave of destruction that occurred 500 years ago. One of the things we're looking for here is a booster, isn't it? And that wall of chaos looks incredibly interesting. Right, no clue where I'm heading right now, but... Can I even get up into that? That's a good question in itself. Mm, doesn't seem like I can get the height. Oh, there's a treasure chest or something over there. Well, I'd want to get up into it. Where do I get to it from? Okay, looks like I'd have to follow a path either this way to get round into that chaos bit, or actually go into the rocky crag and round. But still, we got the crash site up at the far end. The more interesting bit is recognizing on maps what might be something weird. And that is... I mean, just after all, like this is blocked off on its own. I mean, we still haven't checked out the Arya's Climb yet, but that... See, again, if there had to be a village or somewhere there, there's where it would be. Check it on the map. Map breeding is not a bad skill. So where do I head? Where do I go? Well, down there looks incredibly interesting. That's for sure. And then again, we've got lots of enemies spawning. Something to check over here. Whatever this is. It appears to be debris from the wreckage. I guess it might be. Hey, where am I heading then? There's so much stuff to check out. More debris over here? There's more over there. Though that is far more important. Yule's flowers are still blooming here. Looks a little better again. Right, still not enough to boost you up to another level. I imagine that takes quite a bit, but where shall I head? Crash sites over there. Interesting stuff over there though as well. Probably more side quests to pick up. Where to first is the question. 
Well, we're new monsters. I guess we should always fight them first. And if I just debuff that guy, it would have been a lot easier for me. Right, uh, what are you doing? Fire? Okay, you're weak to Blizzard. You're an Ecto Pudding. Deal ice damage with our stagger condition. So with that said, I think I'm just going to knock you with some debuffs and then go Blizzard into Frost Strike. Of course, physical, you're a bit more resistant too. I got hurt there. Fire still does a bit of damage if I don't Mediguard block it. Right, Goopy Goo and Wonder Gel. A fair bit of EP for defeating that enemy, that's for sure. And we've got goblins on top of that. Okay, your weakness, oh, we don't even know. No clue at all. We haven't picked up anything for you then. Either way, you were pretty much defeated from just those hits. So you're weak to blizzard and lightning. Well, actually, you're probably not weak. We just got the imperil on. And what we need to check is you without the imperil on. Hello there, Chocobo Eater. Let's battle one of you then, because one of our quests requires us to defeat two. Oh, wrong button, meant to switch. Okay, unleash physical and magic attacks. The effect is greater. We know the general deal with these. It seems to be more or less what we had to go through before, after all. You can't fool me. But your overall weakness is to lightning and wind. Some more auras, go. Do not eat my chocobo. Multiple attacking, are you, sir? Well, that said, I seem to have double staggered you at that moment, so that's not bad for me. I'll bring back lost time. Double stagger is always good, and have I been buffed a little bit here? Keep going in the stuff, but nothing went on there that well. Not gonna hit me with a double one? Okay then, frost strike it is. Ow! Should I cook them? No. No is the answer to that question, sir. You shouldn't chop them either, and you shouldn't be hungry. That's, that sounds really bad. Where's my ATB go? Ooh! I just got chopped, but glad I was on that paradigm. You might be satisfied for the time being, sir, but if you noticed, I couldn't do anything to stop that. My ATB bar had been completely halted. Which is never good. You may be getting peckish, but I'm going to put you down hopefully first. Phew. Right then, Aurora's again coming out. Do as much damage as I can, he says, but... Again, we don't really have the abilities for it. And it's the so hungry ability that puts me down into a no nothing state. Chef's secret? Ow! These ones seem to be a bit more complicated and a lot more annoying than their counterparts, eh? Trying to get Mediguard up to defend these heavy blows. He's gone insane now. Every hit is hurting a lot. All we need is another stagger, really. Phew, okay. Uh, we got the stagger, but do we have the damage to take it down from this point? It's close. It seems Choker is eating me, possibly? The Chocobo Eater goes down, all right. Lots of different abilities that he has, but the green monster moss is being claimed. That's all we really needed from you. But I can't stop fighting enemies. I just want to get to places, don't you know? I'm pretty sure they do know, and that's why it's being annoying. Right, one down. What's the goblin's normal weakness? Is still to blizzard and lightning, so that's fine by me, because my blizzard's pretty strong. 
Come on, Choco, help me out a little bit here. Yeah, cures are good. So you can cast heals to me. But again, our opponent is defeated. Let's pick up this flower and head over here. Man! The endless monster waves that come out somewhere like that. We got ourselves a bronze medal, but where exactly are we? Adventuring Essentials? I might need to buy some more new stuff. Oh, mind you, we don't really have anything. Do we not have any vegetable seeds either at this point in time? Well, may as well buy some. Oh, thanks a lot. Let's keep a supply after all. What do you want, sir? Cheering guy. As we get to the Wildlands Research Camp. You see that old husk of an airship over there? There's a grumpy old guy who lives there. I'd keep your distance if I were you. He almost never comes out. Just stays holed up in there. What does he eat? That's what I want to know. He didn't used to get any visitors, but lately I've seen some young girl coming and going. Okay then, thank you for the information. But apart from that, we got ourselves a forge, a sorcery shop, 13's over here by the look of it. If that's the name. And the lost dog has been found. Plus we got a quest here, a quest there, another person to talk to. I guess we'll check this all out next episode as we finally come to somewhere with lots of side quests. Plus, of course, the airship itself in the background that we've got to check. Join me next time for more Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.